Rugby pass at Twickenham for this year's Calcutta Cup clash. Ball to expand, beaten by the boys in blue. Let's go and get some fan reaction. Uh, yeah, not great. Uh, did three three of the games in the autumn. Uh, wasn't very fun. Saw two losses out of draw, uh, and now I've seen another loss. I don't think I'm going to come back to Twickenham again because I think I'm a bad luck charm. Uh, it just hasn't really improved, does it? I think that's the problem. There's no real go forward. Um, some of the guys off the bench looked all right, but yeah, that's about as much as you can do, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was just all around a pretty poor performance. How was today? Today was the best day of my fucking life. We just beat England at Twickenham for the first time. And fuck, fuck the one where there was no one there. We just beat England at Twickenham. Scotland! Scotland! Oh. Have you got any more questions for me? Josh, talk me through your thoughts after the game. Um, a mixed bag. Um, I mean, like Scotland deserved to win. Let's have it out. Absolutely. Um, in defence, they're fantastic. I thought our set play could have been better. Um, I'm, the jury's still out with Farrell and Smith 10-12 for me. And I think there's lots of lateral play in terms of there wasn't many yeah, yards gained for me. And I think... I think, yeah, Scotland's out to win. Um, I've had a few Guinnesses, but at the end of the day, yeah, no, no complaints really, to be fair. It's a bit of a disappointment that we didn't win, obviously, but um, as a first game with a new coach, I think we did well. Um, yeah, a bit, well, a lot of people are injured though, so that was a bit of a shame. Um, Tua Langi wasn't playing, and he's like my, my future husband. I know he has got a child there and a wife, and I do apologise, but I think he's lovely. The Scotland team are on the way up. They are going to smash Wales next weekend at Murrayfield. They are going to be on the way up, all the way. Go on, Scotland! Too like you hit me up. Yeah, obviously. Don't, no, don't. I, I actually have a boyfriend, but shh. <laughs> no, we got it. We got, we got to be optimistic. I think, I, yeah, bang in the same drum. I, I don't get the Farrell Smith 10 to our access. I think they're both fantastic fly halves. Let's play them at fly half. Um, you know, Farrell at the moment is the best player off in Europe, right? And I'm, you know, Don Brand at eight, for example, when Smith comes on, there's that, that's that. Yeah, anyway, um, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, I would like to see a little bit more variety in the selection, I think. Um, but yeah, today, great game. Scotland completely deserved to win. I honestly think the scoreline flattered England, honestly. Is this your last Wickenham experience watching England? No, I think England need to improve. I think the centres are poor. Um, you know, having Farrell and Joe March in the centres just doesn't work. So Stephen Borthwick needs to change that up. Any change in itself from the Eddie Jones era? Um, well, obviously not having a dominant centre is not benefiting us today. So I think Stephen Borthwick needs to change that up. But I think apart from that, we we're good. Oh, fly of Scotland. When will we see? Your likes again! Have we moved on from the Eddie Jones era? Uh, not really, but, well, we have, but we haven't really, have we? Like, we're still fucking losing games, so, um, yeah, it's what it is. Um, no one likes losing to Scotland, do they? But, uh, it's becoming a trend now, so, yeah. First thoughts on the new Borthwick era? Um, I'm optimistic still. We've got loads of time. Six Nations is a, a classic, like, a, a, everyone's biggest game is England, right? That, that's the thing, so. Yeah. It used to be. Now, I like, easy. At home or Scotland at home, it was a fucking embarrassment. How can Scotland outsing you at home? It's fucking embarrassment. All they do is sit there, do nothing. How can you get outsung at home? It's a fucking joke. <sighs> oh, mate, my, I can't let my dad out anyway. He's a, <laughs> he's a nightmare. What's the sentiment right now for you? Delighted. Fucking delighted. Sorry for swearing. But Beep! Yeah, absolutely delighted. I mean, we were the better team by far. By absolute miles better. So I'm here with a rather irate England fan. Talk me through that performance. The performance wasn't bad. First of all, Manu Tualangi. Why is he not playing? The, the worst thing about England today, it's been the same problem for the last fucking... Sorry, for the, last, you out. for the last 10 years, you sit there and nobody screams anything. I sit there and I go, come on England, 
screaming for my country. Excuse me. You paid so much money and these, these people sit there and they don't say anything. I got shouted at today by the people in front of me because I was screaming at them. Are you joking? I'm here to support my country and people are going, can you quiet down please? Are you taking the piss? You pay all this money. I've paid over a hundred pounds today to support my fucking country and go, oh, well, you're being so rude. Are you, are you fucking taking the piss? I got called a racist because I shouted at old white men, sat there going, no, where's come on England? Swing low. I go, come on, Lincoln, swing low. And there's nothing. It's a joke. Did, did you feel like the Scottish fans oh, they were getting behind that? Scotland outsung us. It's embarrassing. Scotland outsung England in Twickenham today. And every match, England get outsung because it's old people who just sit there and go, oh, we're losing. Where is the support? Where's the passion? England fans just sit there and they don't say anything. It's a disgrace. Did you, did, so embarrassing. did you feel that that, that that was what it was like inside the Twickenham cauldron? To be fair, the only thing I heard today was swing low, sweet chariot. But every time you sang that, Scotland came back with just either Scotland and that was it. That was it. Silent after that point. Like, shite, pal. Like, you, you can't, like, England just, like, butterfingers, pal. I would say, England weren't bad, Scotland were just so much better. Manu has to play. Manu Tuolangi, I'm sorry, if he was running out of Hugh Jones, well, Hugh Jones, he's my boy, he used to play for Quinns. But if he's running at Hugh Jones, he's steamrolling over him. He is, he is. Manu Tuolangi is Manu Tuolangi. But you were so much better, you were so much more well prepared. Everything we had at you, you just run at us. You do this, you do that. Finn Russell, also, own fire and miss his kicks. That didn't change the score, you'd still win. That didn't help you. He's, he's lost momentum because you missed the kicks. That was... Yeah, it would have been closer. Four. I was thinking, Farrell, I'll right, we'll get this kick, we need to go for something else. Because but he missed the kick, that made it just... When we were eight points ahead, if we were, what, 10, 12 points ahead, then it's a different story. But he's missed both of those kicks. Changes the game. I'm done with this. Respect. Yeah, yeah. Thank respect you very much. We'll see you you were so much better. Well done. It was uh, not bad. Not bad. First time in 30 years I've been down and we've won. But I have to say a good shout out to our friend, Joe Ray, who had a massive stroke a couple of weeks ago, who the first time in 30 years couldn't be here. So he, effectively 30 years he'll be coming down, he's in hospital, he can't come to the game and we won. So shout out to our friend Joe Ray. That fought and died for your wee battle, and Glenn has stood against him.